Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I'm Crypto Kip. Today, we're going to be talking about whether or not Bitcoin can go back down to $21,000 before it does take back off to $30,000. What is the likelihood of that? And also, Visa, are they really pausing their crypto partnerships? A huge article that everybody's talking about right now uh, from a large publication is saying so, but there are some contradictory opinions out there. So let's talk a little bit about it, guys. Let's talk about what we expect to happen next year in the crypto markets. If you like the content, smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel. We're doing five videos every single day for you. And when we hit 10,000 subscribers on the channel, we're giving away $1,000 worth of Bitcoin to one lucky subscriber. So do not miss out, guys. Right now, the market cap's at $1.06 trillion, and Bitcoin is at the low $23,000 price range. Earlier today, it was moving up. But now uh, there is some news coming out. And no, the answer to the question is Visa is not giving up on crypto. They are not pausing their crypto strategy, despite uh, what some other publications saying. But here's an article from Coindesk saying crypto's strat Visa's crypto strategy remains intact. Visa came out themselves and spoke out against this FUD. Well, where did this FUD start from? None other than Reuters. U.S. payment giant Visa denies a Reuters report. Guys, this publication, Reuters, Reuters, whatever you call it, is trash. They have put out so many FUD articles that have to do with cryptocurrency, and it comes in timing right with comments from some of the old school guys, right? Warren Buffett, Jamie Dimon, then Reuters comes in and says there's a bank run here, there's a bank run there. Visa's given up on crypto. These are lies, guys. This is FUD. This is fake news. And so thankfully, you know, some publications, right? Some YouTubers like ourselves here, smash up the like button, guys, are coming out and, and, and spreading the truth, right? And getting rid of some of the FUD happening in the markets. But Visa ain't giving up. Why? Because they know that crypto's here for the long term, guys. And it ain't going anywhere. Uh, you know, the recent failures, this is a quote from Visa, the recent failures do not change our crypto strategy and focus to serve as a bridge, helping connect both platforms and technologies emerging in the crypto ecosystem. Uh, that is where we have been investing and plan to continue investing. Uh, you know, and guys, this is another piece. Despite the challenges and uncertainty in the crypto ecosystem, our view has not changed that the fiat backed digital currencies running on public blockchains have the potential to play an, play an important role in the payments ecosystem. Guys, it's coming. And articles like this, this FUD is terrible. Who is this from? Sources. You know, you can't just come out and say, Reuters, Reuters, hey, we got sources. You know, this is a lie. Visa themselves came out and said so. So these are some of the things you got to watch out for in crypto, guys. And uh, talking a little bit about a $21,000 Bitcoin, guys, it's certainly possible that we could go back down to the $21,500 range. And if we break below that, we might even see the $19,000 price levels again, right? $20,000 is very significant price level for Bitcoin and crypto uh, because that was the previous all-time high in 2017. That was a very key level. Uh, and we've seen it tested time and time again. So don't be surprised, guys. Uh, but I will say that it, it is growing increasingly possible as Bitcoin is trying to break down. We've drawn out some key resistances here. There was one at about 23,300. We kind of broke above it, below it, above it. And now we're kind of coming down below it again and moving. It does look like potentially towards the $21,500 price level. Um, so if you guys want to trade some of this volatility, we do have free money for you guys in the link in the description down below. Be careful with leverage trading, guys, but if you do want to do it, there's free money if you sign up for BitGet or Femex, so check that out. But do be on the lookout, guys. We could certainly go down here a good long off the $21,000 500 price level. Might not be a bad idea. That being said, very low leverage. Make sure you set your stop losses, guys. But most importantly, when you zoom out, guys, it doesn't change anything. If Bitcoin does go down to $21,000, Look at this beautiful trend here. Bitcoin is going up over time, and eventually we will come back up to these levels, you know, probably around March of 2024, you know, when the Bitcoin happening comes, we'll be getting closer to that. And then into 2025, uh, we will see all-time highs again for Bitcoin and crypto overall. So we're just hanging in there, guys, but ignore the FUD. And if you do want a free loaded lion, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel and enter this giveaway. Follow us on Twitter at underscore crypto report. If you are a member on our YouTube channel, you actually get an additional 10 entries for every month. You are a member. All you got to do is go to our YouTube page and join here. If you become a member, not only do you get custom emojis uh, shown in comments and in live chat, but 
Uh, you also get these emojis during uh, the live stream and these loyalty badges as well. So check that out, guys, and get access to our private Discord. We'll talk directly with the crypto community as these markets start to heat up, guys. Cooling off a little bit today, but we got a live stream later tonight. Make sure you check it out. 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's all I got. I'm Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, you got to remember, folks, DCA, HODL, We'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. We'll see you in the live stream tonight. Peace.